saving the world's tropical forests, the lungs of the earth, is one of the very important priorities. Because when the tropical rainforests are destroyed, there are many frightening side effects. It's not just the permanent changes to the world's temperature, rainfall, and weather patterns which the forests regulate. It's not just about the millions of people who might lose their livelihoods that depend on the forest. There is more to it than that. There is the extinction of plants and animal species that is hundred times faster than what is natural, and it's, it ruins our ecosystems. And there's also the rainforests themselves. This is important. The rainforests themselves normally is our protectors. But as the climate gets warmer, instead of absorbing CO2 to protect our planet climate, they will be emitting back CO2 as well, and that will be harmful to us. By harming the rainforest, by destroying the planet, by raising animals, we are turning our protector, which is the rainforest, into a harmful agent. Now, we need to look at the main reason why there is deforestation. Yes, we all know, there is a whole industry behind it in most of the cases, namely the livestock industry. For example, 91% of the Amazon deforested since 1970 was used for what? For grazing pasture, meaning that the number one reason for deforestation of the Amazon, which is the greatest lung of our planet, is to raise cattle. And the second biggest reason also for cattle. They grow the soy to feed the cattle, and of course other animals as well. By the way, yes, NASA reported that once the forest is cleared for pasture or feed crops, the soy itself becomes a large source of emitting carbon. The soy itself even. So not only that, the fires that burn down the trees also release a lot of carbon dioxide, CO2. The Amazon rainforest alone contains more carbon dioxide than 10 years worth of all human-produced greenhouse gases. Plus, when we burn the forest, we release black carbon, which are particles of soot that trap 680 times the heat of the same amount of CO2. Now, blame whom? Don't bother blaming CO2. Yeah. Especially because they are black. You know, these soot from the burnt black uh, rainforest, they hold a lot of heat. According to researchers in Brazil, 60% of the black carbon measure at the Antarctic Peninsula came from burning the rainforest in Brazil for livestock raising. So we have to put the blame, the finger on the right spot. Yeah? This is not to mention that besides destroying our precious forest, livestock farms also contaminate or even completely kill our water systems. They degrade once a fertile soil, they destroy our biodiversity, and they release vast amounts of extremely dangerous methane and nitrous oxide. And what you call that hydrogen sulfide as well? Yeah? Which are heating up the planet now 100 times, 300 times more than carbon dioxide. So please keep your aeroplane, keep your car, keep your train, keep your ship, and leave them alone for the time being. Just take out the meat from our diet and stop blaming the CO2 for every problem of global warming on our planet. We are to be blamed. The meat industry is to be blamed. The meat industry is the one we have to focus on to stop, to abolish, to stop the climate change.
and to stop the waste of the forest and land. Stop talking around the subject. Talk to the point. Meat industry must stop. Stop the livestock industry. That would be the most effective way to halt global warming and restore our planet. It would save our precious forests, which take decades to grow and create more natural forests that we need to reduce global warming. Without our lungs, we cannot survive.